Hello, 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 Virgo. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. First of all, I wanted to tell you all, thank you so very much. The last time I did a, le a weekly reading, I believe was last Monday, Sunday or Monday. And you all were my highest viewed group. Okay. I want to, I want to appreciate you all for that. Thank you all for my new subscribers. Thank you all for being so devoted to me. I appreciate that. I hope I'm uh, able to help you all resonate to figure out what's going on in your lives. Okay. So I'm going to do a, um, a bonus reading for you all today. I did some pre-shuffling already, you all. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get into your personal, I'm sorry, your, it may be personal to you, but getting into your, um, your, your bonus reading. I did some pre-shuffling. Like I said, I don't have a tablecloth right now. Uh, so I'm just going to try to minimize me hitting the table. That's annoying to you all, I know. But it's a, it's a habit for me. I, I, I'm sorry about that. So you all have a tower moment. Something going on for you right now that I'll put you in a tower moment of, of some kind. Okay. Virgo, Virgo. Tower moment city. What is going on with the Virgo? What caused this tower moment? What caused this tower moment for the Virgo? And you're sad about it. Um, but whatever happened, Virgo, I, I, I'm in a, a tower moment also. I experienced a tower moment about three weeks ago, Friday. So I, I understand, okay? But you have to realize you do have something better on the other side of this debacle, tower moment, or whatever happened. There's something for you on the other side, something way, way better, okay? And you, you, you're you going to realize, like, huh? I know that I've, I've gone through some things recently and something is going to change. I can just feel it in my bones. And you are. You can feel it because you're going to come out of being sad because you know you have other opportunities that await you. And you're focused, very focused, but Virgos are focused anyway. Focused on your Queen of Cups, focused on uh, different things that you need to do for yourself. And you already know it's times are changing. It's time for you to uh, realize something. Hold on, y'all. Okay, Virgo. So maybe you're looking back on a situation and you know uh, the tower moment. Whatever happened, uh, don't don't allow it to make you feel feel bitter. Don't allow it to make you feel like you want to get back at someone. Let it go. And this is probably a situation with you. So maybe somebody crossed you, crossed the lines with you. Maybe somebody uh, did something to you and it was unfair. Okay, take it higher resonance. Okay. So, but you have something better coming for you with the Knight of Cups, some kind of offer, okay? And it's going to make you damn happy. This Two of Cups that you're not paying attention to because of, you're going through what you're going through inside your mind and your ego is talking, got something better. Because this Tower moment shifted your universe, okay? Don't cut it out, okay? You have the Knight of Cups, the Sun Core, and you have the, the King of Wands. You can accept something because you deserve it, Virgo. You deserve to move forward with whatever is going on in your life. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to shine. This is your moment to shine, to glow, to show people your worth, to continue to show people your worth, okay? This is why you, what you've always done, and this is probably why you got booted here for this, this because that caused you to have a tower moment because of who you are, okay? And you're coming out of it stronger than ever, Virgo. You're with the seven of wands. You're coming out of it. You're still, no matter what you've gone, gone through, or what you believe about yourself, you're still coming out of it. Um, oh, this song was coming to me. Um, I'm going to have to put it in the uh, in the description. It's a, I have here a two of cups. See, your two of cups is coming for you. Because you're hurting from your three of cups doesn't mean you don't have it. You have something better coming here for you with this two of cups energy. You got some love around you, too. Um it's a it's a gospel song, you all, uh, by this woman. Her name is Vicky Yohi. And the song I'm getting is Because of Who You Are. Okay? Hold on a second. Hey, bad girl. I went to look for that song I was telling you about because because of who you are. Yeah, believe in yourself because of who you are. But the song that I wanted to say, because it's by the, the same uh, gospel artist, Vicky Yohi, is I'm at peace. So whatever situation, and this song came to me too. And I'm hoping it makes sense to somebody because it makes sense to me. Make peace with what you've been through. Make peace with this tower moment energy that's around you right now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to read a few of these words and I'm going to put this song in the description so you all can listen to it. I really do. I really do hope that you listen to it because it really, really is, is an amazingly beautiful song. I'm at peace. Even though my heart is breaking, I'm at peace. I never thought that I would be shaken. 
but you came and laid your hands on me. And now, oh Lord, you came and laid your hands on me. I can see my storm has moved away. I'm at peace. Even though I'm not worthy, I'm at peace. Even though I cannot see, oh Lord, you died for me on Calvary. I can see my storm. My storm has moved away. I am at peace. Okay, so this is just saying, Virgo, be at peace with the decision that has been made by you or be at peace for the decision that has been made for you. Whatever it is, let it go. Be at peace about it. The decision that was made for me, okay, it was for my good. Even though at the moment I was damn mad about it, but I'm happy about it. I'm at peace about it. I've accepted it. So if there's something going on, with you or however that resonates with you, Virgo, be at peace with it. No matter what, cry about it and sweep that shit under the rug and keep on popping. Because Virgos, if we don't do nothing else, if we don't have anything else, we have resilience. That's what we have is resilience. If we don't have anything else, we can pop back. Okay. Because you're the high priestess or the high priest. Take your high resonance. Okay. Page of Wands, and you have a Six of Cups. So this Tower moment is causing beautiful things to happen for you, whether you realize it or not. Okay, be at peace with the decision that you've made or the decision that has been made for you. And I think I'm just going to simply call this reading at be at peace. Okay, you had a, you had a situation that, that tore you down. It's probably keeping you down right now, but look on the bright side of things. You are stronger than this. You are more than a conqueror. Be at peace with the very existence of who you are as being a Virgo, an earth child, okay? You're going to come out of it. You're going to look back at this tower moment and say, thank you for making me stronger. And you cut this, You either they cut you out or you cut them out. Somebody took the stance on any of the situation that, that had to do with you, Virgo. And you're going to offer your, your life, yourself, your emotions, your abilities, whatever to other people. But just because you're hurting, doesn't mean that you have to stay at a page of one's mentality because you know you're better than this. You're the right now. You're the you're the you've always been the high priestess, but right now you feel like the page of ones. Okay, even with that, go out and give it your all. Give it your best. Hit them with your best shot, Virgo. Hit them with your best shot. Okay, don't be vindictive about the past. What happened? The recent past. Let it go. It's the past for a reason. Come out of it. Speak your mind. Speak your truth, and come out fighting. And, and people are going to love what you are about to give them, are going to love the changes that you have made to get to this point, okay? I want to get an overall energy. I don't always do the overall energy in the reading, and I don't. And if I do, it's going to be somewhere else in the reading. It's not going to be right away. Give me an overall reading for the Virgo for their bonus reading right now. What is it going on with the Virgo here? Ten of Cups, more income, more um. More purpose. I'm hearing also loyalty, more loyalty. You probably didn't have a lot of loyalty around you where you are right now or were, uh, Virgo, but you have more, more coin, more money coming your way. Got some love, too. Some love coming your way. You're wanting to offer somebody something. This is a mutual thing, a mutual attraction. And you've probably been hurt. You're, you're hurt right now, but you're probably still hurting from this past. This is, yeah. Maybe this is two separate situations, but you've been hurt before by somebody who wants to come back in. It's purely your decision if you want to take this back. So we're talking about your current tower moment and a past moment with a love. They want to come back to you and, and rectify things. They're wanting to offer you their, their love. <laughs> offer you their hand in marriage. That's what I'm hearing. For those of you who it resonates with, I want to offer you my hand in marriage. He's, he's going to be taller than you. He towers over you. Tall, lanky guy, but <clears throat> lanky but strong. Okay, lanky but strong, Virgo. He left you out in the cold in the past, but with him leaving you out in the cold, he knows where he wants to be. His home is with you, with the Ten of Cups. His home is with you or her home. They realize that they have had ultimate happiness with you, so they want they want you back. But right now you're you're stuck because you're worried about your tower moment and, and this is what your focus is on right now. But this is going to change too with the justice card and the emperor, the magician, because you're going to tell this person, I want to wait and see what happens. I have a lot going on right now. I'm going to put you on the back burner like you did me in the past and I'm going to keep on moving and stepping because I got to dig myself out of this tower moment that I'm in right now. Okay. You want to offer them something, but right now, 
it's not a good time because you're focused on other things. Even though they're you in their heart and you care about them right now, it's not a good time for them to be messing with you. But yeah, you are though. I have the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, the Herald, and the Judgment. You made up your mind whether you're going to a, through a tower moment or not. <clears throat> Maybe you need this person's moral support while you're going through what you're going through, even though you're going to dig your own self out of this situation, this, this situation, if you want to look for another job or, or, or whatever. This person's going to be there with you, you know, um, and the, you, it's like you're going to repair your tower moment in your past relationship all at the same time because they're going to be there to support you and they're going to rush into you and say, I want a, a higher form of a, a commitment. I know I hurt you in the past or you hurt me, somebody in the relationship or however, but I want a higher form of commitment with you. And it's going to be to this point when you realize like, damn, I really do need this person in my life. Okay, but you make that judgment call, Virgo, if you decided that, that no matter what you're going through, you still have feelings for this person. This person still have feelings, has feelings for you. Okay, so you made that decision. You're going to walk. Oh, you're going to walk <clears throat> proudly away from your tower moment, Virgo. You're going to walk proudly away from your tower moment and find another job, find another living situation, whatever. You're going to get back or work things out or begin the beginning process of, of working things out with this person from your ex who you absolutely, with this person from your past, your ex who you absolutely adore. You're going to go fast toward them. They're going to come fast toward you, however it resonates. And they're going to want uh, to, re, uh, re, to reconnect with you in a higher form of commitment. You're going to make your mind up and you're going to have your, ace of, your eight of cups moments and say, look, <clears throat> I know that I messed up. They know that they messed up. Take it how it resonates. So they wanted to come back to you <clears throat> or you want to go back to them because you know that they are the one. For you. you know that they are the star and they're going to help guide you and fix this stuff. Uh, this situation that, that you're in right now because you realize that uh, this is your destiny. This new situation that, that, that this tower moment pushed you into, this two of cups situation, could be a, a job, a new living situation, a, a, a beautiful romance that's coming for you, that's coming back for you, coming back to claim what's theirs. They want to claim because they already know that you're, you're each other's star material. material okay, They're going to come back and they're going to help you with this situation. They love you. They care about you. They probably would never admit it to themselves or to you that they love you, but they're going to tell you now because your tower moment brought out beauty. The tower moment brought out love. The tower moment brought, moment brought out a new job, a new situation, probably, roughly, probably a new car, but that's way, way in the back somewhere. Um, You got, you got some power. Remember your power. Because you have this two of cups that you're not even paying attention to because you're hurting right now. Because this tower moment just fucked you up. Excuse my expression. But look on the brighter side of things. Stand strong. Stand. Remember who you are. Your intuition already told you it's time for you to end that situation. If you didn't end it, the universe ended it for you because you were better than that. And you're coming out of it much more stronger. You're looking back a little bruised. Your ego is probably bruised or whatever because Virgo, we are very proud. Okay. Um, but don't worry about that. The universe will handle that situation. The universe will handle that situation for you. Just focus on what you need to focus on so you can keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Because this person that's going to come back into your life, they probably wasn't, I um, didn't say that they were cheating, but they probably weren't giving as much to the relationship as you were or vice versa. But this time they're going to come back and, and, and be very, very supportive of you because they don't want to lose you again. They realize what their two of cups was when you are out of their life. And they're coming back for their two of cups. They're coming back for their two of cups. They know that you are the high priestess. Okay. They know that they left perfection. They know that they left perfection here. And they want you in their world. They want you in their universe. They want you with them night and day. And it's going to be a well-balanced and, and a well-balanced, thought-out relationship. One that this person has never forgotten. OK, and queen of one, queen of ones and, and one that you haven't forgotten either because you constantly think about this person, just like this person thinks about you because you all things are about to change for you. OK, with this wheel of fortune, your world is changing. And just because you have this tower moment is going to knock your universe into recalibrating itself. So be willing to accept this person's offer if this is what you want. Be willing to accept a new financial situation that's coming to your way. New ideas. 
being an entrepreneur, doing things differently, looking outside of the box to make more money, making more money from more than one different direction, too, is what I'm what I'm looking at right now. But not focusing on getting back at people from your past. Let that past go. If it's over with, it's over with for a reason. There's no reason for you to taint your aura, Virgo, because of what somebody did for you, did to you in your past. Let it go. Okay, I'm going to close this reading out with a crystal intent card, Virgo. I want to thank you all once again for being my highest um, viewed group. Thank you very much. So go ahead and get you a crystal intent card. Whatever it is with your tower moment is getting better for you. Love is coming back. You have a new job coming back. Probably a new living situation coming back. I, I want to say a new car situation coming back. But not for a long, long while because it's in the back of my head. Like way, way back in the back of my head. But it's coming. Something about a car. Way down the road. Okay? But right now we're focusing on your love life and your career and your home life. All seem to be looking a whole hell of a lot better than it did a couple of weeks ago. Okay? Give me a crystal intent card for the Virgo. One crystal intention card for my fellow Virgos. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I have here the Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Maybe we have someone in the group named Ruby. Maybe you know somebody named Ruby. Maybe your mother is a Ruby. Maybe your grandmother or great-grandmother is a Ruby. Okay? But anyway, Ruby. This is your crystal intent card here, Ruby. It says, Vital life force flows vibrantly through me. I am grateful for my energetic passion for life. And here, that's the Ruby. So I'm going to read it. Improve physical strength and vitality. Increase endurance and passion. Activate productivity and self-motivation. Increase enthusiasm and overall feelings of well-being. So this is pretty much ties in, you all, with my reading. Don't let anyone get you down and be at peace with the decision that the universe made for you to cause this tower room. I don't think this is a decision that you made. It could be. I don't think this is a decision, Virgo, that you made. I think uh, the God, I think God made this decision for you. Since you didn't want to make this decision for yourself, you were more than capable. You probably did make this decision, but a lot of you, the decision was made for you, okay? Because you are better than that. You are better than the people around you, better than the toxic environment you are around. However, this resonates. I'm, I really, really feel strong that you, this is this was a decision. That you didn't make that put you in this tower moment. The universe made this decision because you were unwilling or did not make the decision for yourself. So something happened to make this uh, tower moment uh, take place. But it took place for the glory of your own good. Okay. And the last thing I want to say to you all, uh, Virgo, is, is just be at peace with it. Be at peace with the decision that was made to cause that tower moment. Because your tower moment has started a beautiful, beautiful um, new life for you. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and do the weekly readings for everyone. So you all want to get two readings today. Okay, so I will talk to you all again soon. Thank you all so very much. And listen to that song by Vicky Yohi, I'm at Peace. Okay, talk to you all soon.